Right, all right. Happy Easter, everybody. So today I'm gonna do this Bauer uh, long throw DA. It's a 20 millimeter. It's not a 21 like the rest, but I figured I would give this a shot. Um, I've been wanting a 21 millimeter for a long time. I thought about doing the DeWalt um, cordless. Pretty convenient, but it's not a long throw. I thought next time I'm gonna buy a long throw. I had a 15 millimeter by Adams, and that was probably my favorite polisher of all time. So I thought, well, if I'm gonna buy the big boy, I'm gonna go ahead and buy one cheap and see if it matters because I really don't detail that many cars. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Bauer. This thing was $121 roughly shipped to my door. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna uh, pair that up with a Lake Country cutting pad. This is foam cutting pad, six and a half inch. If you wanna know the exact one, this is the uh, plastic. I don't know, can you read that? There you go. It says, uh, orange six and a half, Lake Country. Oh, I bought this at Detailed Image. There you go. Anyway, I'm gonna pair that with my favorite polish, CSI Ceramics. This is in a uh, little feeder bottle. This isn't the actual Ceramics bottle, but it is CSI. And just for giggles, which isn't too giggly, hmm. Um, just for a challenge to see what this 21 millimeter can do. Let me get you guys down low. Can you guys see that quarter panel right there? So what I did is I went ahead and sanded that with 2000 grit. And if you know my wife, do not tell her I sanded her brand new car. She will kill me. I might kill myself if they don't come out, but I'll get them out one way or the other. Can you see them right here? 2000 grit. It's not crazy. I didn't want to get crazy with it. There you go, you can see them now, right? And I'm gonna put a tape line right here. Then we're gonna work this with that 21 millimeter long throw, or 20 millimeter long throw and see what it does. Let me leave you guys right here real quick. You should unbox it together. So I'll bring it like show and tell. And I'll open the box right here in front of the wheel, see what it looks like, okay? Go ahead and get a tape line on that. So we can see what that Bauer with CSI and uh, an orange pad is going to do to these sanding marks. And see whether I live or die. Woo! Don't tell my wife. If you know her, don't tell her. I hope she doesn't watch this one. She usually watches all my videos, but I hope she does not watch. Watch? <laughs> Watch this one, we're gonna find out. Let me bring that 20 millimeter over here. All right. So, I was gonna open it ahead of time, but I thought it'd be probably better to open it on camera. Let's see what comes with it. Oh wow, hello. Came with a, probably a polishing pad. That's pretty cool. I'll take it, take it. So, my initial thoughts, neat little machine, man, platypus handle. This reminds me, guys, listen, listen, this thing reminds me of my G9, my Griots. This is almost spitting into that. Holy cow, that's crazy. Let me get my power cord out here. Let's get to this. Stick with me, guys. Sorry, I didn't have my cord hooked up. Rookie move, baby. <laughs> Rookie move. Hey, cut me some slack. It's Easter, would you? Good Lord. All right. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, kind of hoping this doesn't turn into an all-day evolution, get those scratches out. I'm kind of hoping this 20 millimeter throw is a great machine. I know ceramics is a good polish. Paired with a foam pad, should be able to handle 2,000 grit without a problem. This thing basically comes out of the box ready to use. I want to check, make sure that head's tight so I don't peel the paint off this car. And then, let's see, where are you guys going to be? Yeah, that'll work. Hopefully, I don't knock you guys over. So, let's see if you can see those marks one more time real quick. Okay. See them? You can see them now, right? It's 2,000 grit sanding. See how it's kind of hazy in there? I hope you can. Anyway, here we go. 
Here we go. Okay. Let me check this machine real quick. Make sure I don't put the hood on. Oh, shit. Whoops. Hold on. Hey, come here, boy. Come here. Hey, come here. Sorry about that. It's one of my neighbors having an annoying little dog that's always coming over here. It's the minute they open the door, bam. My dog almost ate him. <sighs> Don't want to be a rude neighbor, but maybe that should just happen. Anyway, whatever. Dogs and people and their dogs without manners or people with their dogs without leashes. Whew. Annoying. We're going to get it done, though. I don't hate them. They're good neighbors, so got to be cool. Got to be cool. So, oh, that's cool. Check this out. I got to show you guys this. The Allen wrench, which I don't know if I'll leave it there, comes in a nice little stowable compartment. That is sick. I love that. I've never seen another polisher do that. So, all right, guys. I think we're going to be under money here. Let's get this pad on this bad boy and see what it'll do. 2,000 grit. Sandy marks. <laughs> Whew. I must admit, I'm only nervous if my wife sees this. It's the only way I'm nervous. <clears throat> here we go. Ceramics. CSI ceramics, guys. And if I have to, with a foam pad, I'll use a different polish. I've got many polish is. So let's see what happens here. Put it on minimum, spread it around. Okay, I'm gonna put it on three or four. Uh, just enough pressure to keep it on the panel and let's see what happens. I think it did the trick, just that little bit of work, so. <laughs> yep, that looked gone to me. All right, dang, wow. Okay, so let's take this off. I think I went over the tape line here. You're gonna see a little bit of polish over the tape line, but shoot. And I know this isn't just the Bauer machine that made this happen, it was the pad and the excellent polish that I chose, right? The ceramics heavy cutting pad by Lake Country plus a 20 on the big the big throw machine that's impressive I don't know guys that's crazy right there for 120 bucks I'm so happy that I bought that machine holy crap see the sanding mark here's how do they call it the the line of demarcation as they all say so see the 2000 sanding this is where the tape was and that's the Nice looking reflection now. Ba bam! Holy cow! Hey, I'm sorry for that interruption a minute ago, guys, but that was real life in the neighborhood, right? So, what can I say? I can say I'm gonna go ahead and finish polishing where I sanded real quick, and then I'm gonna put uh, some turtle wax on this because I love the new turtle wax line. 
and I, I don't have any of it on the quarter on the uh, lowers of this car so I'm gonna put the paste wax that they sent me on that little uh, quarter panel back there and see how it holds up because it's gonna get all the mud and dirt and fling so what can I say so far this machine's amazing I'm impressed and guess what I didn't have to spend four five or six hundred bucks not even 200 120 to my door um, that might be my favorite new machine even though I just bought this one cordless DeWalt for doing some heavy lifting rotary wise and I have a G9 also Grios that I won thank you detailing.com and I have the what is it shine master buff master rotary anyway 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 that 21 or 20 millimeter I don't want to miss sell that it's not 21 it's 20 millimeter long throw Bauer is an amazing machine and I would recommend that to anybody 120 bucks go out and get one and try it I'm gonna tell you your car doesn't know if you're using a Rupes, your car doesn't know if you're using a Flex or DeWalt or Makita. It just knows that it's getting corrected by a good compound, a good machine, and a good pad. Doesn't know a name. So, Bauer, 120 bucks. Go grab one. Thank you, guys. See you next time.